Hi, it's Lori from Coast to Coast Craft Girls coming to you from the West Coast. Today I wanted to share a beautiful card I made, a birthday card. It's using the, um, what is it, Crafter's Companion Delightful Peonies paper pad and die embossing folder set. Um, I happened to get it for on sale on HSN. It just came the other day, so I thought I'd play with it. Um, I actually cut into the die. It has another bloom and some uh, leaves at the top, but it wouldn't fit, so I just snipped them off. Um, and this I, I ran through, I cut and then ran through the embossing folder and then inked with uh, Centura Pearl and then inked with my opaque pigments, which I love that effect. Um, I think it's super pretty because you still get the shimmer of the Centura Pearl coming through that ink, but the card is looks like that and it's just kind of a fun design inspired by um, a card that Michelle McCarthy made on her channel Michelle McCarthy crafts um, and I'm gonna make it with a little bit with a different paper pad it's actually I'm gonna make the second one with um, papers that I got from Michelle McCarthy um, but I thought I'd start with this this is the first one I made with the crafters companion um delightful yeah delightful peonies collection so anyway it's super, really easy to make it's a five by seven card when it's flat and it goes flat enough to mail so let me show you how to make it um since it's a five by seven this way um I don't have, well, I do have, but I didn't want to use my 14 inch long paper. So if you create, you can create your own card blank by doing a five by seven piece. And then this one's five by eight and I scored it one inch and I'm just going to glue those together like that. And that gives me my card base. So when you don't have a card base, you can almost always make your own. And if, even if you don't have big enough paper to make it in one piece you can do it like this and it works just fine and just make sure that you get it nicely lined up like so and now you have a nice five by seven card base that goes that way and I'm it doesn't matter you you know put the I was gonna I'm gonna put that seam on the back um, now to create the little internal um, pop-outs, you need a little square there. And all that is, is it's a piece of card that's five inches or just under about four and seven eighths inches high by four inches across. And I score at one, two, and three. And you're just gonna create a little square and glue it right into that corner. So let me show you how. Um, and because this is going to glue on those two sides, you don't really need to do the overlap um, to create the little tube. You can, if you want, do the, you know, actually like do a half inch tab, glue that together and then glue it in. But it's just as easy to, easy to do it this way. And if you just flatten it like that and put glue on half there and half here, so see, this is the opening, folded flat, and you're just gonna line it up right in that, that uh, fold, and then push it in and close your card. Let that glue grab, and that gives you your center square pop-up, just like that, okay? And it will go flat that way, but you're gonna leave it just like that, okay? Now we're gonna do, um, before I put my other pop-ups in, you wanna do the matte and layers. And while that glue is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and matte, I'm gonna go ahead and do the front. Now this is a beautiful paper pad, as I said, I got from Michelle McCarthy Crafts. Um, and I just, I, I, I love the paper. And it's so pretty. You don't really need a whole lot of decoration on it because it's just gorgeous. So when you have that beautiful paper, this is a really good way to highlight the paper 
and without doing a lot of decoration. And I cut this matte and layer because I didn't put a solid color. I usually put a, a second matte layer with a solid color under my printed paper, but I did not with this one. So I cut it just an eighth of an inch smaller and I use my wet glue so that I can wiggle it into place. Perfect. Okay, just like that. See how beautiful that paper is? And I'm going to come back and decorate the front in a bit, but I'm go ahead and get that paper on. And then we're going to, I'm going to put two strips on these little one inch tabs. So these are just about seven eighths inch. Get them the right side up. And then, um, oh, I didn't do any paper for the inside. Let me get some paper for the inside. Hold on, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I just matted some dark green cardstock, which I thought went well with that. And I don't wanna put the pretty pattern paper in here because it's a lot of it's gonna get covered up. So if you look at this one, you know, this background paper, I didn't wanna waste my pretty paper on that background since so much of it's being covered up. So I just put that dark green, which I thought looked nice. So now we're gonna to go to our inserts. Um, and you, since I'm gonna do it on both sides, you don't have to do it on both sides, but I'm gonna put them on both sides. So I have basically a mirror image of each other. So you need two pieces of card that are four by five, scored on the five inch side, so this way, at one inch, or no, at I'm sorry, say that again four by five scored this way at three quarters of an inch. So this is the five inch side across the top, scored at three quarters of an inch, three and three quarters of an inch, and four and a half. And that's gonna give you, so this is gonna glue onto that center piece, and then this is gonna wrap around and glue on the base of the card. So that's gonna give you one side, and you need two of those, one for each side, okay? So this one will go on this side, see, like that, okay? Then you need two pieces of card that are three by three and a half. So three by three and a half. And with the three and a half inch side across the top, you're gonna to score at half an inch, two and a half, and three. And basically you're gonna fold it the same way and it's gonna create essentially just a smaller version of that. And so this is gonna glue onto there and then that's gonna wrap around and glue onto the base of the card, okay? So, and same on the other side. So they're like this. Okay, now while they're sitting like that, I'm gonna go ahead and put my mats and layers on. And it's important to remember, especially if you have paper that's directional, you know, put the, the larger straight tab without the curve underneath, because this is gonna go on the outside because it's gonna tuck in and glue on the card. Let me show you what I mean. So if you can see right here, this is the, the straight tab and then this is that curve, okay? So it's important to get it in the right way so that you know if you have directional paper, you're putting it the right direction, okay? So it's gonna go like that. And let me go ahead and glue those papers on, and then we'll put the pieces in. I'm going to bring my card back in and I'm going to switch to tacky glue. So this piece is going to glue onto there and then wrap around and glue there. So the way that I found that it easiest to do is use your tacky glue and put it just on the single tab first. So just on there. And then you want to set it 
in the middle and against the bottom and against that edge. Okay. And then you can close it to get that glue to grab. Okay, so now you can see how that's glued on, just like that. And then once you've got that one, now put glue on so it folds over and then on just this little half inch tab. And you wanna fold it completely underneath like, like this and then close your card. I'll hold it up so you can see. And then that gives you your pop out, okay? And then we're gonna repeat that with the other side. So again, we're gonna glue, put glue just on that top. Make sure I get it straight, correct, the right way up. And you want to get it straight with this in line with that one so that these lines are straight. Otherwise, it's going to look wonky when it's opened. Okay, so there's that one. Now we're going to put glue on the little, on, not on this first fold, but on the half inch tab. And I know you probably can't see that, but. And then you're going to fold it completely under, like that. Close the card. And there's your two pop-ups. Okay, now you can do essentially the same thing with the two smaller ones, but just attached like that to the bigger one. Okay, so we'll start with the small tab. center and then on the other tab fold it all the way under and close your card there's one side don't pull it too hard right now because the glue is not dry yet so you want to let it dry while that before you start pulling on it. gives you your pop-up okay. but I don't want to pull on that so I'm gonna let that glue dry and while I'm letting the glue dry I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the front and I've got a little happy birthday sentiment I just it's a one of the crafters companion dies I cut it out of white cardstock and then I just inked it a little bit with um, sandstorm just to give it a little bit of an aged feel and I layered two of them up because it it makes it a little more a little thicker um, I like that look. It gives it a little bit of dimension without having to use any um, dimensional product. You can just layer up cardstock. Put that down in the corner. And honestly, this paper is so gorgeous. You don't really even any to add any decoration. Um, but there were a couple little nice um, add-ons that. Michelle sent with the paper. It just kind of has that nice vintagey feel, which I love. And then I've got one more that I'm going to put on the inside. And I think I'll put it right here. You know what? I don't 
I don't think I'm going to use it. I think I'm going to put a little signature block over there when I'm ready to write a name on it. But I don't think I'm going to... I'm going to save this because these are beautiful. I'm going to save that for another project. All right. So that's it. I'm all done. It's pretty easy. It's a... Uh, but it's just... It's a great way to showcase gorgeous paper. That's just a little pop-up. Just like that. Folds relatively flat or mostly flat to post. It's a five by seven card when it's folded flat. But boy, when it's standing up, it's just gorgeous. Because look at all that beautiful paper. So anyway, thanks for watching.